Hi everybody, welcome to Fire Station 7 in Fayetteville, Arkansas. My name is Firefighter Talbert and today we're going to go over some of the things we do here at the fire department and what we have on some of our fire trucks. Here at Fire Station 7 we work two days straight. So we live here, we eat here, we sleep here, and we train here. Today we're going to take you through a tour of our truck Ladder 7. We're going to go down to our training tower so you can see us in action and we're going to introduce you to our fire education dogs Ember and Higby. All right. Now we're gonna head over to our training facility where Firefighter Stripler is gonna show you how we fight fire. And remember, we're trained professionals, so do not try this at home. Hey everybody, thanks for coming out. We're down here at our training tower, which is where we bring all of our trucks and members of our department to come and perform training for all the various skills and tasks that might, we might be called to do in the course of uh, each day that we're on duty. With any emergency, it takes the whole crew to accomplish the task. I, as the firefighter, have to get off and pull the hand line, and then my captain, he goes around and checks for any other safety issues or tactics, and then my driver, he's the one that actually has to pump. He has to get water from the tank inside the truck, through the hose, out, and uh, to the nozzle where I'm at. We have fully involved dumpster, dumpster fire before we have When we go to a call, we want to be prepared before we even get to the call. And we do that by training. And we all work together in one big team. Uh, the three of us on my crew, we practice and train daily. So when we do get emergencies and we're called on, uh, we can perform to the best of our abilities. All right, here we are. We're going to look at ladder seven today. You might be wondering why it's a ladder and not an engine. That's because this truck is bigger than an engine and it carries a lot more tools and equipment that we can use to help people out. And inside of it here, we carry fire hose. So we're gonna pull this fire hose off and this is where all of our water comes through to help us fight the fire. We have to keep it nice and loaded, that way we can unload it and pull it out to where we need to go. We've got bigger hose up here that's just a lot wider and then we also have a couple coolers in here because when it's hot outside like today, we want to be able to make sure that we hydrate. We have a big saw up here that spins just like this and we use this one to cut through metal. And then right here, we've got a chainsaw. So what we use this for, if we're up on top of a roof and we need to cut a hole in the top of the roof, we use this chainsaw with its sharp teeth and we can cut through any type of wood that's up on top of somebody's roof so all the smoke can get out. Back here in this compartment, we have all kinds of different ladders. That we use when we need to get up somewhere high. If someone's trapped up on a second floor, we can take this ladder out and we can carry it to the building and then we use it to climb up to that floor so that we can get somebody out and rescue them. So you'll see in here something that you might recognize. This right here is what we call the jaws of life. We use this when someone's in a car wreck and they're trapped in their car. You guys might recognize this one. This is a fire ax. Firefighters have been using these for a very, very long time and for a good reason. We can use these for a lot of different things. We can use these when we need to chop into some stuff. We can use them when we need to get into a building. We can use them if we just need to break some stuff. Alrighty, so this here is Ember. She is a Dalmatian and she comes on and off ship with me. And Dalmatians got their start in the fire service way back when we had horse-drawn fire engines or steamers. And they would be going to a call and the horses would be going really fast. The horses would get spooked by stray dogs that were, were running all up and down the streets and they'd spook the horses and they would they would cause the, uh, the carriages to flip. So Dalmatians, they were quick and agile and able to run alongside the horses and keep them calm and keep the other stray, stray dogs from getting the horses spooked. And that's where they got their start and they've been here ever since. And now we use them for, uh, for public education and teaching about fire safety. And we also like having them around the firehouse too because they're very loyal and they're they're friendly and we like having them around. Thanks, Firefighter Strifler and Ember. We just want to thank everybody for coming out to the Fayetteville Fire Department today. Have a great day.